Mr Naylor. Mr Chairman, um, I'd just like to return, if I can, as we are in this part, to the, uh, the title of this bill. Uh, because this is actually a, a really important part of what's going on here. We've heard a, a number of um, alternative uh, titles for it, but, but the actual title of this bill, I believe, is actually very well named. It is, it is about social housing reform. That is actually what we're talking about doing here. We're having a reform of a system that's been essentially the same for a number of years. Um, and let's be honest, if you're going to reform something, if you're going to change some things around, it's probably likely to aim, uh, result in a change of ownership and some description. And so, of course, we need the word transaction in the bill. So the social form, housing reform Very transaction mandate bill is actually, uh, while it may be a little dull for some people, is actually an incredibly appropriate name for a bill. So, Mr Speaker... I think it's important, as, as we sort of move towards the end of this committee stage uh, of this bill, we've had a, a wide-ranging discussion, uh, to come back to what the whole point of this bill actually is. Now, the whole point of this bill is that we actually can start to provide for New Zealanders, for vulnerable New Zealanders, who are, um, for whatever reason, unable to either live in their own home or be able to rent in a normal commercial sense, um, that kind of uh, social housing environment that is going to be flexible, that's going to be responsible, right. and is going to ensure that they get the very best care, the very best housing that they can have, and the best kind of wraparound services. Now, uh, in order to do that, um, it's important that it isn't just the government that's involved in this. And we've got a number of very, very good agencies right around New Zealand who are providing an excellent service uh, to their clients, to their customers, to the people who are living in the houses that they look after. And, Mr Speaker, I'd like to see those people be able to do even more. I'd like to be able to see those very good organisations who are doing a really, really good job of looking after vulnerable New Zealanders and their housing needs um, be able to, to do even more of that. And so, Mr Speaker, it just makes sense to me that we have housing stock. Some of it um, is not necessarily fit for purpose anymore because the demographics have changed. It just makes sense to me that we have an ability not necessarily to withdraw housing services from those people, but perhaps to transfer the delivery of those services from the government to other agencies. And so, Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Chair, sorry, uh, in order to achieve that, um, it, it seems a very good idea that perhaps for some of the housing stock that the government owns, and that is not saying that uh, all 65,000 houses are going to go on the block. Um, uh, this is about uh, perhaps the government allowing some other people access to those properties so that they can provide those very, very good services. Mm -hmm. Mr Chair, our system that we have currently has by and large done a pretty good job, and in many ways done a very good job of looking after vulnerable New Zealanders. But just because we have always done it, it doesn't seem to me that we should always do it exactly the same way. So, Mr Speaker, uh, coming back to where I started from, this is about having a system that is more flexible, that is more responsive, and so, in order to do that, some transactions will need to occur for us to bring in appropriate, well-balanced, good social housing reform for those people of New Zealand who need it. Uh, and so, Mr Speaker, I happily stand by this title, the Social Housing Reform Transaction Mandate Bill. Marama Davis.